An aerial view of the 614 hectares farm known as Kumawa Ranch in Sinda District, Eastern Province. The property valued at over 8 million kwacha belonged to former President Edgar Lungu's daughter Tasila. However, in September this year, the farm was forfeited to the state through the Economic and Financial Crimes Court. This is after investigations revealed the glaring gap between Ms. Lungu's income and the value of this farm. The Drug Enforcement Commission DEC, as well as the Director of Public Prosecution DPP, has taken a site visit to the farm. So these are proceeds of crime. Now, as government, we have a policy to ensure that we seize these kind of properties and restitute them back to the people of Zambia. So where we're standing here, this is a farm called Kumawa Ranch. As DEC, we received information that there was uh, a person by the name of uh, Mrs. Tasila Lungu Mwansa who owned a property which property was registered in, his in her name, and this particular property is where we are standing right now. So we instituted investigations to find out whether she had the capacity to purchase such a property, uh, especially to own it as her own. Now our investigations indicated after we did a net worth of her, her wealth and everything, it came out clearly that she could not afford to buy this from the sources that she presented to us. Mr. Banda says the law enforcement is leaving no stone unturned in the recovery of properties suspected to be proceeds of crime. We want to ensure that graft is reduced to the lowest levels, if not completely erased. Now, if we're going to hit them, right where it pains most, that is the property that they've gotten from this, these illegal, illegal activities, I think that will, will, will score something. If we go for their property, the assets, the monies, we go for that hit them and give it back to the Zambians. And that's what the Zambians must understand. When we get these properties, we actually give them back to the state. And DPP Gilbert Piri says government is developing a bill to deal with management of recovered assets. Uh, the first six months of 2024, the four features amounted uh, in excess of 36 million United States dollars. Now, put it in perspective, early 2000s, we had a fight against corruption which went on for a period of uh, give or take eight years, the net recoveries were 15 million United States dollars, which is comparable to what we've just done the first half of this year. So you can see how strategic this fight is. And as I speak now, we have a zero draft of a bill that will deal with how we manage assets, because this has been a problematic area, asset management. You forfeit these assets, what then do you do with them? Uh, right now, that zero draft bill is sitting with the Attorney General and it will be subjected, of course, to stakeholder engagement and uh, uh, for them to comment uh, before, hopefully, it sees the light of day. Mr. Peary says the fight against corruption is not centered at specific individuals. No one is being targeted. No one is being persecuted. Uh, law enforcement agencies work on intelligence. They receive credible information and they follow these leads. And they are not going to follow you if you've not done anything. Uh, so the fight against corruption is not targeted against individuals. Uh, there's a reason why law enforcement agencies follow certain individuals. The law enforcers visited the farm to appreciate the property. Lucky Piri, ZNBC News, Sinda, Eastern Province.